At the International Center for Theoretical Physics of Trieste in Italy, there are two groups of researchers devoted to the implementation of low-cost but highly effective technologies. We will find out how some of their projects allow and promote scientific activities in the developing world. The main activity of uh, SDU are promotion of uh, internet, of multimedia technologies, of uh, open access and open source uh, software tools for science. The most recent activity we are involved in is uh, 3D printing, especially low-cost 3D printing. We think that 3D printing can be an important uh, contribution to development of many countries because it allows every single person to manufacture their own ideas. We have just to enable people to use the technology at its best. Today, a do-it-yourself 3D printing kit can cost less than $500, and the programs used to design can be open source and free, just like the guides published by STU. We asked uh, scientists all around the world to gather here and we organized a, a workshop in May 2013. So we learned from them what they can do with 3D printing. Parts for medical purposes, for didactical purposes, parts for laboratories, supplies for uh, experiments and such. And plastic, the source material, can be recycled. We can use waste plastic instead of buying a special filament and uh, produce useful, valuable objects from waste. Downstairs, there is the Telecommunications and ICT for Development Laboratory. Here, researchers develop wireless solutions for academic institutions in developing countries, organize training activities and carry out research. By using any kind of can and putting just a simple wire inside with the connector, which has to have the proper size and the proper position, you can build a very inexpensive antenna that can work at distances up to 10 kilometers. This is more of a pedagogical tool than a real tool, but low cost does not mean that it has to be a second class technology. Very often low cost can be more advanced than even high cost technology. And we have a good example with Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi was developed for very short distance communication, but by tweaking the media access protocol, we were able to do long distance communications. Like in Malawi, we have a link that is 100 kilometers long, and we built that link with less than $600 of equipment. As always, they train the team of locals before and during the installation. In this way, they want to make all their projects sustainable. It's the local people who have to take care and to maintain the system. And from then on, they can even teach other people and get on with the technology. Many scientists and citizens from Africa, South America and Asia already enjoyed the technologies developed at ICTP. And for those who still did not, the SDU puts all ICTP lectures and workshops online for free.